Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and we're back with another episode of Daredevil. Uh, we are three episodes in and so far I have surprisingly enjoyed this show. Um, last episode was really kind of out of the blue with Matt kind of just having been completely destroyed in a way, you know, he was stabbed, left for dead, um, he was found by, um, the, the nurse, who I can't quite remember whose name it is, I can't remember, um, <laughs> but yeah, they ended up working together to, um, track down the location of the Chechnyans, uh, who were holding the child hostage, uh, in an attempt to, I guess, try and lure him out, you know, it had been a trap all along, um, just to try and reveal his whereabouts and to try and put an end to Daredevil. We learned a bit more as well about his father and, you know, his demise and a bit of where Matt gets his strength from, I guess, you know, because he, um, he overheard the conversation with his dad agreeing to take the fall. He then goes and uh, listens to his dad, you know, actually win the match. Um, and I'm guessing that's where he gets a lot of his core strength from. Still haven't seen how he was trained or, you know, again, what particularly gives him um, the abilities that he has. But it's a long season. Well, it's not a long season, but we've got plenty of episodes left to go, you know, for that to be explained. Um, so I'm fully expecting that to happen. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this next episode. So enough chat. Let's react. Excuse me. I was just wondering if maybe I could join you for a couple games. Private game. You mind? No. Hey. Sorry. I was just really looking forward to throwing a few balls. Get this moron out of my face. Uh-oh. There's gonna be more to him than it seems. <laughs> ninja! Ginger Ninja! Whoa, whoa. Hey. You got a bad attitude, friend. Oh. He did. Oh, it's this guy again. Love that smell. Metal and oil. Fresh. Never been fired. Take a whiff. Rhodey's evil twin, along with the ginger ninja. Like a good revolver, better. I don't know if he is okay, ginger now. Up. Yeah, he is. Man. Look at this. This is top of the line. I guarantee this baby will not jam. I bet you it jams. <laughs> this is how he negotiates, huh? Oh, we now got ourselves a fist fight. Oh, no, I didn't want to see that. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. Okay, this show is a bit... Well, no, it's gory. And it, it jammed after all that. Was that a knock? It was indeed. Our door? Yeah, do your job. Hey. What you get paid for now? Hi. Uh oh, it's the evil man. Do you do walk-ins? He's going to put him up against the. Interests in the private sector, both domestic and international. From time to time, we scout the landscape for promising talent to put on retainer, and for that, for nothing more than your exceptional skills and your discretion. Fairly I'm guessing he's not onto the fact that Matt is Daredevil. Uh huh. <laughs> it's, it's fair. That's that's fair. Your partner doesn't seem convinced. He hasn't seen the check. Like Foggy said, we're particular about our clientele. 
my mom watch it is and then he'll change his mind i'm curious about your clientele do they all end up working for you after you get them off for murder or just the pretty ones uh. sorry i'm late <clears throat> oh, no no that's i was just explaining to it's ironic that, uh, we have a full case he was so enthusiastic that. about the deal We start from the beginning. Tell me everything you know. I understand the policy has an allotment of days, but last time we spoke, I was told. I've got a feeling this guy's gonna die as well. This was last month, yes. That you can render will be not guilty. Members of the jury, this is an important case, and I have a few additional comments that I want you to consider. Oh, who's he listening to? Someone's nervous. Have they been bought off? Or no? Oh, she sees him. I reckon he's threatened her. Is he trying to sabotage the case? Something like that floating around. Something like what? Blackmail. Go home. Get some rest. Got a big day tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> 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 do, do, do. Oh, uh, you didn't listen to him. Stay down. Son of a bitch. What do you have on her? A tape. It's a tape, okay? What's on it? The mistake she made when she was 19 and pretty. Something she don't want her kids to know about. You can't. Uh -huh. I can't. Not a discussion. <laughs> You'll kill me. Then you better leave my city. To my city. Oh. 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 Question is, who would you rather the court grants the motion to piss off, Daredevil or the gangsters? Due to extenuating personal circumstances, the first alternate juror will replace her. <laughs> In your face! Does the defense care to make a closing argument? Right and wrong. Is he going to give him up? Sometimes the delineation between the two is a sharp line. Sometimes it's a blur. And often it's like pornography. You just know when you see it. A man is dead. I don't mean to make light of that, but these questions, these questions are vital ones because they tether us to each other to humanity. Not everyone feels this way. Not everyone sees the sharp line. Only the blur. A man is dead. A, a man is dead. And my client, John Healy, took his life. This is not in dispute. Um, he's going to give him up. A fact. And facts have no moral judgment. They merely state what is. Not what we think of them. Not what we feel. They just are. What was in my client's heart when he took Mr. Prohaska's life, whether he is a good man or something else entirely, is irrelevant. These questions of good and evil, as important as they are, have no place in a court of law. Only the facts matter. My client claims he acted in self-defense. Mr. Prohaska's associates have refused to make a statement regarding the incident. The only other witness, a frightened young woman, has stated that my client was pleasant and friendly. And that she only saw the struggle with Mr. Prohaska after it had started. Those are the facts. Based on these, and these alone, the prosecution has failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that my client was not acting solely in self defense. And those, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. It's a very good closing argument, but is he about to take a twist? Based 
securely on the sanctity of the law, which we've all sworn an oath to uphold. Is he going above the law? He must be acquitted of these charges. Now, beyond that, beyond these walls, he may well face a judgment of his own making. Uh, <laughs> the subtle passive aggressive frets. The judgment is yours. Basically, yours free him, and I'll make sure he gets his his due fill of justice once he gets out. Oh, he's got someone else in there. The old lady. And he's out. But I've got a feeling he's not going to get away with it. Oh, he saw him coming. Uh-oh. More self-defense incoming. Which is the ironic thing, because this actually is self-defense. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's already been stabbed once. Don't stab him again. Oh. Who does he work? You think I'm afraid of you? Oh, ouch! <laughs> yes! Be afraid! Tell me. Who does he work for? A kid! I want a name! Oh. Ah! Fisk! Wilson Fisk! Wilson Fisk. Do the same to them. Oh no. So that no one ever does what I just did. He should have just killed me. Uh oh. What's he gonna do? He's gonna kill himself. Oh no! Oh! What is it with this show and suicide? Oh, <laughs> that's the worst way to die. Right through the eye. Oh. Is that Lawrence Fishburne? He had an awfully Morpheus look to him from behind. I don't know who you are. It makes me feel low. Is he really sensitive mob boss? I thought it was Lawrence Fishburne at first. Okay, well this show does not slow down. Um, I had to really feel sorry for the Ginger Ninja in the end because you can see in his face and in his voice, you can hear it in his voice that he really is scared of, you know, what, what possibly could have happened to his family. You know, you feel like he was in a position that he couldn't back out of, um, quite simply because he's working with a mob who is going to do horrible things so once he's given up the name, the only option he's got is to um, give away the uh, yeah. Well, once he's given up the name, the only option he's got is to, to is to end it. You know, make sure that there's no repercussions, um, which is sad. But at the same time, scumbag, you shouldn't be getting into deals with you know gangsters. So you can't really feel too sorry. Um, excellent speech by Matt in the trial. And if it had been someone who was innocent, I'd have been really proud of that. I'd have been like, well, you know what? 
well done. Brilliant speech. I hope the guy gets off clean. Um, but no, it didn't happen. And um, this was again another one of those cases whereby I love the passive aggressive kind of um, tone that he had. You know, where he said, you know, in the confines of this building, you know, facts matter. But once he's outside this building, not so much. That's free reign. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't expecting any more of the um, the murder with the the secretary again. I need to remember these names now. Um, but with her, you know, I wasn't expecting that to pick up. I thought once that's done, that's done. There's not going to be any more from that. Um, but it looks like they are going forward with it. She's taken it to this newspaper guy, um, who his story so far just reminds me of how terrible the American healthcare system is. Um, I don't know what's wrong with his wife, but it's obviously something serious, and he's worried about her getting thrown out on the street, which, again, when you have to pay for your own healthcare, screwy things happen, you know. So, yeah, again, another really good episode. Um, the mob boss, I'm assuming that was the mob boss at the end there. Um, he seems very different. He's a very sensitive flower, who I'm assuming has lots of fawns. Um... And we'll learn more about him as, as things go on. But so far, we've got a name now. We know the company's dodgy. So um, I guess things are going to escalate from here. So yes, I'm looking forward to the next episode, guys. Um, another good fight scene. Very well choreographed. Um, very close combat. That's the thing that you notice with uh, Daredevil is because he's blind. It's got to be close combat. It's got to be, uh, you know, keeping him close so that they don't get too far away. Um... And yeah, just more gore. Oh, everything seems to be to do with eyes, and you know, I'm just like, why, why, why can't you just leave the eyes alone? Do something else. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next episode.